Hi, James. Okay, it is evaluation day. Here we are. Um, okay, so I have your 6105 in here. I had to do a little bit of work to it to get it running. The balance, uh, it did this thing where the balance uh, with the, the balance was out of alignment the way it should have been, and so the roller jewel was on the wrong side of the pallet fork. Uh, it's kind of funky, and that's probably why the watch was not running for you before, uh, like maybe randomly while it's happening. I do notice the balance has a lot of play in it, so it could be that we've got a bad balance in there. Uh, but uh, just generally, I don't know, there's a few things I'm concerned about. Let's First, let's talk about the numbers. Uh, it's relatively clean, relatively steady, but the amplitude is quite low. This is 80, 100 points low. Uh, this is running like a watch that has not been serviced. It's relatively clean, but I mean, this is, it's not good. Um, so if you had this service last year, something was not done or something was done incorrectly and the numbers just keep dropping. Um, I'll have to, I would have to really get in there to see what it is. Now, the thing that concerns me, this watch has been, this watch is what I call a rework um, in that it was uh, a watch that lived in a very hot, wet environment without any maintenance for a long time. This is all pitting inside the case back where the case back seal was. And we see the same thing here on the case back itself, on that sealing surface, all that crazy pitting. So this watch lived basically in the tropics, wherever that was. And the dial in the hands and the insert were all replaced probably because they were destroyed. But the case is still original, and I'm assuming the movement is still original, and the movement is running like what we would expect a movement to run like that has been water damaged. So I, I don't really know what I'm going to find. Typically watches like this um, take a lot of effort and a lot of time to bring back because the damage will be so pervasive because, I mean, the movement's still there, but it's suffered every single thing that this case back did. It suffered everything that the case did, and the dial and the hands, but the movement's still there. I mean, it looks shiny enough, but geez, it's not running so great. Let me see if the hacking works. Yeah, hacking works, well, that's something. And your crown locks, that's something. I have your case back seal here. It's definitely, it's a new case back seal, so that's something. Um, let me go ahead and throw this case back down and talk about the rest. I, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to find. And I guess the big question is, is how much do you want to invest in this watch? The dial is a replacement, hands a replacement, inserts a replacement. That clicks over nicely. That hacks. Starts up again. Let's see what it looks like. Dial up. Uh, oh, it's even worse. Oh yeah, I think your balance is bad. Among other things, yeah, that's dial up. Note the huge difference in beat error and the fact that the numbers went down. Yeah, your your balance is is bad at a minimum. Balance is bad at a minimum. I can look at that and see if we can make it any better, but that's pretty funky. So. I don't know. We'll see. I guess what I'll try and do is I'll try to do the minimum. I'll see how the rest of the watch looks, and I'll put a replacement balance in there, and we'll see if we get any better numbers. Uh, and then we'll go from there. How about that? Okay? All right.